You know, again. Anyway, the last time we got together, we put this nice um, plexiglass barrier uh, on the screen door so I won't actually kick it and, and damage the screen. So now that's on the screen door. This time we're going to put up the RV, sc RV screen door um, crossbar. Actually, it's a Camco product and it's fairly simple. I hope, I hope that um, it's easy to put up. Well, I'm going to show you a couple different variations of the way I'm going to do it. They have directions on the back right here, but I'm going to show you the teed up way. Hopefully it'll work much better than going through all the different steps here. Um, this bar here comes in um, three sections. You have this plastic piece on the end. You have two of them actually. You really have this really lightweight um, metal crossbar. It feels like aluminum because it's really light. And you have three holes on, on each end. You have your holes here at the bottom to tie into the metal. Then you have the two holes on this end to tie into the screen door. In a bit, I'm gonna show you what tools, um, what PPE that you need to um, do this here. It shouldn't take that long. It should be something that's um, quick and easy to do. So with this project here, I'm gonna show you the tools that we need. Um, you're gonna need a pair of leather gloves, um, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. As a matter of fact, I have two Phillips screwdrivers just to be on the safe side. Um, you're going to need a pencil. It doesn't matter if it's number two, as long as it's a um, leaded pencil. Um, I have two Sharpies just in case one might be um, dried out. I have my safety glasses here. I always have your safety glasses on your rig. At least have one pair in the rig. Um, tape. I put out two types, three types of tapes. I have duct tape, I have black tape, electrical tape. I don't want you to use either. I want you to use painter's tape. It might be green, it might be blue, but try painter's tape because it comes off easy than your duct tape and your electrical tape. That's for another project. Um, we have here the um, your leveler. I'll show you how that works in a minute, what I'm going to use it for. As I mentioned, I have my drill here. I have a cordless drill and I also have my electric drill. I always have, I like to have both. Maybe you might like to have one or the other, but I like to have both because sometimes you don't, you might have to either drill something and your, your uh, battery of your cordless drill is dead. Um, I have right here, we have two types of bits. Right now I'm going to use the 1 8 bit and a 532 drill bit. we're going to do I'm going to um, start with this Camco bar here. So what I want to do, I'm going to take the ends off on both sides, and we're going to, we're going to use our um, tape, our painter's tape. So with the um, painter's tape that we have, we have the leveler as well. So what I want to do is take off a little of this painter's tape here, and what I want to do is kind of eye it. I'm going to eye this um, leveler right in the middle of this bar here. Just add a little painter's tape. You don't want to cover up the, um, the actual float itself because we're going to need that to measure this on the door. So what I'm going to do here again, take off another little piece of tape like so. Then I'm going to tear it down the middle, if I can. Doesn't have to be that neat, but as long as you tear it down the middle. Remember I mentioned earlier, we don't want to close up the, um, the float. So I'm going to put it like right in the middle, as you can see here, right in the middle. Just so I can see that float, the, the vertical, I'm sorry, horizontal float when I level this on the door. Doesn't matter which side because we're gonna make a pilot hole anyway. So I'll show you how that works in a minute. So now I got the um, leveler on the uh, metal bar right here. I broke off a few pieces on painter's, painter's tape. Just a um, couple little pieces, doesn't matter what size, as long as it just holds on to this end cap and the other end cap temporarily. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna take this end cap here I'm going to face it away from me. 
where you have the two holes here, plus your third one. I'm going to face it away. The reason being I'm doing that is because I want the leveler to face me when I'm um, measuring this here out. So this is going to be more of an eye type uh, measurement here. So what I want to do, I want to put the, um, these metal caps here right maybe near at the, e at the end of the, um, or inside of the um, screen door because you don't want to have it too far out. As you can see, I got it here. You have it too far out. What happened when you close the screen door? Guess what? It won't close. So now you got to take that off again and start all over again. So I'm going to make it easy for you. So put your um, plastic piece here right at the edge of this plexiglass here. We're going to do the same thing for this side. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to mark this area here. It looks like I'm not too much concerned about the distance, but it looks like it's right on the money. Even the leveler is right on the money. It's wild. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to mark it with my pencil right here at the end. And it looks like on the money with this lever, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to, I'm going to um, mark this piece here. It's right on the money, just set like that. Real simple. Now we'll take um, the end caps off and we'll go to the next step. Now, as you can see, I made a pencil mark on both sides here, actually. Um, that's what we're going to do. So we'll start with one end. Remember I mentioned about having this piece here away from you? So we're going to take this cap here. We're going to take a little bit of our um, painter's tape, and I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put a little bit here right on there. I can check it out twice. And as you can see here, I'm getting a little close, that it looks good. So I'll take it like so. Alrighty. And then I'll give it a little squeeze here. And we'll do the other side as well. There's a line. I'll put this right on the line here at the end and then I'll take my painter's tape and um, I'll wrap it around just like so. Like I say, you don't want it too tight because it's just temporarily hold for until we get this on the door. So now you have your leveler facing you or facing myself, right? And I have the two end caps here. So we're going to put this back, give it another quick peek and Let's see, I'm pretty happy with this here. So now I mentioned the, um, the Sharpie. Well, the Sharpie, what we're going to do with that, we're going to put two holes here. So I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to put two, um, one on the top and one on this side. And then I'll come back once we got these two secured to the door. Um, I'll put on the two bottom ones. Show you how that works in a minute. As you guys know, I didn't use I didn't use a um, tape measure for this project. I thought it'd be pretty simple and easy if I use my leveler. It basically is my level for um, the distance between this top here and below it. So I'm just going from eye this time. I could have used my tape measure, but I decided not to. That would be your choice. So from there. Um, I'm going to, like I mentioned before in the last part of this project, I'm going to take the Sharpie, like so, and I'm going to eye it using my leveler. So that looks pretty good on both sides. So what I'll do, I got it right under the actual screw that I used in our last segment that we did. I'm using a Sharpie on this here because if you use actually a pencil, it won't work just because the pencil um, won't, it's not good for this plastic. So right now I'm going to use a Sharpie. So now I have a 
my pre-pilot hold I made last time, and I have my other part of this here, as you can see the little Sharpie mark. So from here, what we're going to do, I'm going to drill a pilot hole right here and finish off this pilot hole from the last time we got together. Using the 1 8 drill bit is this one here at the end. So basically you're going to put that inside like that. I'm going to have a little bit of the metal facing outward. We have what's called a, a chuck key. Um, this key here actually, the chuck key, locks the bit within this little connection here. Um, not for sure of the exa exact name for it, but it, it kind of holds that in. So basically, with, I got this in a little bit. Got to give it like a persuasion to get it out. And there you have it. You have your 1 8 drill bit inside of this little mechanism on the drill using your chuck key. Now that we got the 1 8 inch drill bit here, um, I'm going to put on my PPE. I'm going to use here, I'm going to use my leather gloves. And put those on. Make sure you have your leather gloves or some kind of protection from, from your hands just in case because these drills, cordless or 110, they can be very st a strong product. Um, I'm going to put on our my safety glasses here. Got those on. Let's make some pilot holes. I'm going to start off with this side over here. Uh, I'm going to put a pilot hole on top. I'm going to put one over on this side. I have it. I started already, but I'm going to finish it out. So when you're starting with a drill, always start off slow. Got that one done. I'm gonna go over here and try to finish off this one here. Now that we got the pilot holes drilled, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start on the next part of this puzzle. We're going to um, drill out this third hole on both sides here uh, because this here is where you want to put your um, the screws that I took out earlier, you want to put those on each end. So, okay, we're going to start um, drilling this hole here. We're going to take our time and let the drill do its thing. Okay, got one side done. I'm gonna try the other side. I kind of punched the hole here with my with my pencil. So you can see I have a hole here and a hole here. Now I can use my screws that I put inside of this um, painter's tape so I won't lose them. So let's 
put this bar on the door. I like to hold my screwdriver like this here, or my Phillips screwdriver rather, like that in my hand. I put the screw just like that, because this is not magnetic. So if it's not magnetic, the old school way, you hold it like that, and you go straight in with it with the screw, and you get, get it started, and it stays in. Pretty, pretty neat, huh? And then we're gonna screw this in again. But then, like I said, don't over tighten because if you over tighten this here, you're going to um, crack the plastic. So that looks pretty neat. I like it. We'll go to the next now that we got the two screws in. I'm gonna take off my gloves for right now because they're not needed at this point. So on the crossbar here, now what I wanna do, I wanna remove this painter's tape on both sides, but leave it on the leveler. You can see how quickly that comes off because if you would have used um, this duct tape here or this electrical tape, you'll still be pulling it off as I'm, as I'm speaking. So basically, your painter's tape works great. Comes off, doesn't leave any residue. It looks great. Put that like that. So what do you think? Not bad, huh? Now this is nice and tight. Not bad. So the next part, we're going to install it on the door. So this time I'm gonna put one glove on. I'm gonna take or if you're left-handed or right-handed, I'm, I'm right-handed, so I'll take it again. Remember how I had that screw in my, my finger here? And I'm holding it just like that, because since if you had a magnetic-type screw driver, a Phillips screwdriver, rather, you don't have to worry about this here, but I'm old school, so we're going to do it this way. So I'll start over here, put the screw in your um, top of your finger, and press down tightly where it doesn't fall off. You notice it doesn't fall off here. So what we'll do, we'll start that here, using my arm to hold that up just a tad bit. We don't want to over tighten this right now. Why? Because we want to get all four screws in first before we um, tighten, tighten it down. So what I'll do, I'll go on my left side, go on my left side here, I can get a screw up, and I'm going to take my Phillips again, like I did before, and I'm going to start my screw here, putting it in. Don't over tighten it, so she can crack this really easy. And I don't like to tighten it up too much or over tighten. I want it to be like hand tight because this gives a little bit more. Um, has a bit more give when you, can, when you move it, or somebody would, I would call back in the days, heavy-handed. Um, they won't break this bar. Well, I thought it'd be much, be a little bit easier if I made my mark, took this off, and now I can drill my, my pilot hole, cause that way I won't have this bar in the way. I'll try it that way. It might work out a lot easier. Let's see how it works. All right, looks good. Looks very good. I'm gonna put this right side screw on. Get it started. Just hand tighten. Go back over here. Give it a little bit, a little bit more turn. Now we're going to go back to the bottom. A little pesky area right here. And we'll put that screw in. Great day out here today. A great day. Something I've been waiting on for a long time. This weather can't beat it. Not hot. Not too cold. Just right. I'm gonna put this left side on here. Like I mentioned before, 
times, many times. Don't over tighten. Um, now, I kind of like it. It looks great. Now I can remove my gloves. Um, don't need the Phillips screwdriver anymore. I'm gonna remove this um, leveler. And matter of fact, she's still level. Pretty cool. I'm gonna take off this tape here. It should come right off. Better yet, I can just use my finger and take it off like that. This tape measure I've, I've had for so long. Matter of fact, you heard of that Frosty Flakes way back in the day. I found this here, I'm like, wow, this is way back. But hey, it can be repurposed for something else. Good stuff. So that's my leveler and also comes with a, like a little tape measure here. Kind of cool. But anyway, um, take this tape off and looks good. Buffer up a little bit. And now you can grab this here, like so. It's a bug in there. You can grab this like so when you're closing your door. So I, I think another one is a great job. Came in handy, nice and sturdy. Give a little tug here just to make sure As it's good. As you can see, it looks great, it's tight. The um, crossbar is straight using that leveler earlier. Um, I think it's a great job and mission accomplished. So anyway, um, I'm glad you guys stopped by. Oh, matter of fact, what I'll do, I'll put this um, RV screen door crossbar description in the link below. That way you guys can order one yourself and, and attach it to your screen like I did or above, it doesn't matter what your preference. Anyway, I'm glad you guys came out with me to share this afternoon and um, hit that subscribe button on top. And when I have some more innovation tips or anything that deals with installation of what's going on with the rig of Tim Rover, I'll be sure to share with you. This way you can share with everybody else and um, learn something from it. That's how we learn from each other. Anyway, this is Keyed Up. Um, talk to you guys later. Enjoy your day and see you in the next round with another innovation tip or idea. Thanks guys, stop it in.